Look at that detail, guys. So we can press the OK button, and it takes a picture of that. And again, once you got the details set, now you can zoom in even more. And is that not incredible or what? Look how far you can go in. You can got you guys can see everything here. I mean, look at this. I mean, that's that's looking at that penny. I mean, that dime right there, zoomed in that far. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today, we're checking out this HD. 1200x 16mp 1080 digital microscope so let's get unboxing and see what we get it feels heavy duty so it feels like a very good quality item normally the cheaper ones are really lightweight look at this they give you a guide to coin collecting which is what we absolutely love we love coin collecting they give you a how to solder so you can use this for more than just looking at coins and stuff you can solder stuff with it also, they give you a basic insect guidebook. I'm telling you guys, this is nice. This is the first kit I've ever reviewed that actually cares about the collector or the person that's actually using it. You get a high-level function guidebook and a setup guidebook as well. Here's the screen. So let's go ahead and unpack everything. All right, my friends, welcome back. So finally... A company that actually gives you a nice long base because I'm so tired of these companies that cut the base off so short so this is a nice long base all right so where to begin um, this is your actual monitor your screen that you're gonna have so really nice HD screen and it looks like they actually provide you with an SD card so I'm telling you, so far, I'm very impressed. So far, there's been nothing that has let me down. The SD card is a 32 gigabyte, so that's a good one. Um, on the back there, you got your standard ports that you're going to need. Um, and let's continue here. So that's the lens. Oh, it looks like you actually can have different lenses on here. So that's, I'm telling you guys, this is definitely a high quality kit. Uh, let's go ahead and thread this on here move the lights by the way these are lights that are right here you got dual lights so we're just going to thread this on just like this once you got it on you can then twist the black piece to make it tight as well um, it looks like yeah so on the side here you can adjust the bolt uh, I wonder if they give you the tool for that or not. Let's see. Okay, so you can adjust it um, like this. So you can adjust how you want to angle your lens once it's on. But we'll get to that part in a minute. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah. All right, guys. So for this, you're going to thread these little washers. You don't have to pull them out. You're just going to thread them out. Um, to a specific position oh and you can also adjust this this adjusts your level of the microscope and also on the back you can make it tight as well and so it doesn't go out of place so um, there's multiple angles that you can use check out the books and manuals for more information all right guys so you're just gonna slide it down in like this and then you can tighten those two little um, kind of like bolts you don't have to make them super hard so you just tighten them up and now we can position this however we want so to make it even and you can position your lights so the lights just bend so you can position them at however angle you want so we're going to have them probably about let's see here probably out like this drop it back all right you can connect this to um, something else with the cable. They give you an HDMI to mini HDMI cable if you'd like. So you can connect it. Um, they also give you two USB to Type-C cables as well. So you can use that for probably plugging in your computer if you don't want to take the SD card out. Um, and this is the power supply. That is just simply a USB plugs in here that they provide you with. And then you plug this into your power supply. 
guys then you plug the type c in the back for these lights and they're touch sensitive so up here is maximum so let me show you guys here as you touch the top it's maximum as you touch the bottom it dims so you can adjust that by just tapping up here it does come with a remote control so that helps you zoom in that helps you zoom out so as you guys can see you can really zoom in you can record by pressing that um, power on and off by pressing and holding the OK button so it actually says right there double click for the menu press and hold the OK to turn it back on or press on here to access it as well so very nice screen so far under the settings you can manually change all of this stuff here so there's all these different settings that you can access you can change the video the photo I mean all this stuff you guys can access so plenty of stuff to do on here you can fine-tune everything perfectly so guys you can take this lens off uh, this lens just gets you up really close um, but if you're too close and you know you need to move it around then you can just simply take the lens off and again on the back here you just adjust this the height and that allows you to get the fine details that you need so now check this out so as you can see you can see very fine details and again now once you have the detail you can zoom in Take pictures, zoom out, zoom really far in. Overall, this is awesome, guys. Works great. And then once you got it set, again on the back here, you turn these black knobs to adjust so you get it as clear as you can or depends on the size of the object I mean look how clear you can get that that is that is awesome and then just press OK to take a picture and then of course zoom right on in look at that zoom in look at that now you can adjust this more in the back once you're zoomed in to fine tune the details a little bit here zoom in a little bit more incredible and look at this this is a knife look how poor quality this knife was made so look look at that detail of the letter so this is supposed to be the stamp saying stainless now let me go ahead and show you guys here Look at that. From your your eye, it doesn't look too bad. But when you get it under the microscope here, I mean, you really can see. <laughs> you really can see how poor that was made. And of course, you can zoom in. And yeah, you can use a remote tool to zoom in. So just to show you guys. I mean, look at this. <laughs> incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible for whatever you're using it with. Greatest thing of all, guys, yes, this is portable. So it doesn't have to be plugged in. It is fully portable. You just plug it in to charge it. So as you guys can see here, um, we can access, we can do everything, and no cable is plugged in at all. Make sure you turn it off when you're done.